Hello everyone. I've been away for a while. I have been sick. Very sick. Um, since the beginning of last month, believe it or not. What I thought was um, allergies and my asthma and what have you was not. It was a little bit worse than that. But anyway. Um, so I'm back. Um, I am doing a, a 16 by 20 pour tonight. And what you see here is the orchid color um, from Arteza and I mixed a little bit of brown in it because I wanted it a tan color. Um, and I put um, satin enamel in it. So that should be reactive as much as the white is reactive. I've layered my cup and the first third of it is dark colors, um, earth tone colors, black and tan and um, burnt sienna and so on. And then the last part of it is our blues and greens. So I want blues and greens around the outside and dark on the, on the inside. So let's get to pouring. This is probably more paint than I'm going to need, but that's fine. Um, and I am only going to be turning out probably one video a week. Just because it's just really hard to to keep up with doing pours and then trying to do other things. Um, I have so many pieces that are just in flux right now. They're not finished. I didn't have the I didn't have the uh, Liquitex gloss in order to seal several of them and then I've got others that are just they're just not ready I, I want to add stuff to them but like I said I've been sick so anyway okay there we go I've got the more earth tone colors on the inside and um, the lighter colors here. That's really pretty. It's making a lot of cells. I really like things like tunnels, space, rocks, <laughs> stuff like that. And um, so that's why I did this. And I definitely have more paint than I need, but that's that's perfectly fine. And I swirled my cup around because I didn't want that lined pattern. I wanted something really different. And as you can see, I got it. So, I am going to just stretch this a little bit because it's got plenty of paint to do that. don't want to make all my blues and greens go away fold under so and that um, that satin enamel in that other paint worked perfectly I've got all kinds of cells very small cells but they're defined cells and that's really what I wanted I wanted I didn't want any white in this piece So, I'm going to let this set um, for a few minutes and let the air bubbles come to the surface and then I'll be right back. Okay, before I do anything else, I want to mess up the center a little bit. I just want... I 
to be less of that blue, quite frankly. hoping that's going to stretch out bigger because I really want a black center. Let's put a little bit more. Try not to drip it this time. Oh darn it. That'll do. <laughs> I've forgotten how to pour, guys. Stick my hands all over it. I see just a ton of bubbles and that's the look I wanted I want kind of this hollow center look um, I always have plans for these <laughs> it doesn't necessarily always turn out what I have in my mind but most of the time Bringing it back to center. And I'm going to move it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. So, I got some muted colors and I got some. This is really, I love this. It looks like a tree. And, and that's what I wanted. I want something that. I don't know how to describe it. <clears throat> like, just kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> um, fanciful, I guess, is the best word. So that I can add some, maybe um, some airbrush or maybe some paint pens or both. Like add foliage and make it look like a forest or, or something like that. Um, so that's, I didn't want those lines going out, but this is great because this looks just like a tree, like a dead tree or a burned tree. It looks creepy and I love it. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about this part. And that didn't stretch out as much as I hoped. I'm going to bring the paint here and then to that corner um, and try get that center to stretch out a little bit more. I want it 
to look like a big opening, maybe a cave or something like that. But I don't want to lose those designs up top. down there. That's pretty cool. I stretch that this off of there to open that up. I'm going to lose my tree though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Well, this is super, super cool. It looks like flames. I like that. Huh. Well, I guess I could always paint the tree back in. a mystical forest. Gives me something to work with. Okay, I'm done. I'll bring you in in a minute. I want you to see it from this angle first. See, it almost looks like like a lake opening or a hole in the ground which is pretty cool and then these pastel like colors I love this side look at this it's pretty cool and this is where the tree was and I'm just going to go ahead and paint another tree right back in and this can be the branches um, coming off the canvas. So that's what I'll do there. And I'll do something with this area too because I don't want those lines. Just <clears throat> I want the colors but Maybe I can turn that into rocks or something. Anyway, well, it's very different, and I really like it. And when I'm finished with it, I will put it in a slideshow or something and show y'all the finished piece. But it's pretty cool. Sorry about those lights. There's just not a thing I can do about it. Okay, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.